Hey, it's Joel. Resin printers need to be leveled twice. What? Yeah, I'll tell you what I mean when I say that, and I'll tell you about this thing here, and then we'll test it out. Let's get to it, right here on 3D Printing Nerd. Twice, that's right. A machine's build plate needs to be leveled against the bottom of the tank because then it's squished flat and the, the UV light can cure the resin all the way around. But remember, that's resin liquid in a tank. And so if the machine itself is kind of off kilter a little bit, that resin is still gonna find its level even though the machine isn't. And so you could end up with resin not in a corner where it needs to be while you're printing. The solution to that is to level the tank as well like with a bubble level, like with a level level. And in order to do that, some machines have little feet that you can turn so you can uh, level it. Or you can use this solution by Nick Daimlo. You know him as Bugman 140, and they are leveling pucks. And he designed them for the Phenom series of machines. Essentially, you have these twistable leveling feet, but 3D printable. It's a genius idea. So let's get these printed out. We're gonna use Prusa Slicer with the Mark III, and we're gonna use some GreenGate uh, PETG. It's recycled and it's wonderful. So the, the settings for that, 0.2 layers, two perimeters, five top, four bottom, an infill of 20%. So I'm doing 20% because I just want it to be nice and sturdy. The Phenom Noir is a heavy machine, and so it makes sense to just have a little bit of extra there. So. With those in mind, I'll load this up into Octoprint and we should have ourselves a really nice time lapse. Fook me, that was fast. Hey, there we go. Print is done. I used a Logitech C920 to get that Octo lapse. Uh, I'm still new to Octolapses, so if you have any tips or tricks for me, please leave those down in the comments. But here it is. This is GreenGate 3D, recycled PETG, and it's very pink. <laughs> Let's see, what's it called? Pink Grapefruit. Pink Grapefruit. That's appropriate. And then, ready? That's a fun sound. <laughs> here we go. These are the pieces. This is the bottom of the foot right here and uh, it's just flat, so it can sit like that. And then this piece, look at those bridges. That's pretty good. This is the part where the Phenom foot goes in, and then this. This is great, so the, the threads were, the threads? The threads were modeled in, and then you can put the, the Phenom foot here, and then you can raise or lower it, just kind of slide on the table. One of the things that I've noticed, check this out. So I have it out a little bit, and if I put downward pressure, it's almost like the material sticks to itself really well. I don't know if that's a, uh, a property of PETG or whatnot, but um, it could make for adjusting a little bit more difficult. Nick has modeled a tool to help you in printing these and adjusting these. I didn't print the tool out because why would I do anything the easy way? Well, we've got one. Let's get three more. Later. One, two, three. There we go. Look at that. Four of them. I wonder, have a look. Right there, I mean, this is just a scale representation, but the four Phenom feet go in here and then it becomes level. So, so we grab a bubble level and these feet and we head to the studio. Let's go. We're at the studio and, uh, well, is white balance okay? Sure. <laughs> we're at the studio and we're in the resin room, the resin dungeon, the resin fungeon, the fun dungeon. Got myself a level. This is the Phenom Noir, and uh, if I put it here, I can tell that this side needs to go up a bit. And if I put it here, let's see, the back is gonna need to go up just a little bit. But before we do any of that, what I wanna do is take out the build plate and the resin, because we're gonna have to lift the machine and move it around, and I hate for resin to spill. Let's get that done. Perfect. I've got the tank and I've got the plate over there. So now we can move the Noir around and uh, let's see if these work. I mean, look at, look at that. I'm really curious to see if they work. This is so 
heavy. <laughs> We're close. Here. So I put it on there and it just needs to be lifted up a little bit. And then, uh, and then that one there is close. Just needs, needs to be moved up in the back a little bit. Uh, I think I can do that. And uh, I'll put this, I'll put this right here. Yay, it's on a monopod. Fingers crossed it doesn't fall down. Okay, first we'll go that way. Hey, we're almost there. Ah, oh, maybe I should have printed out those tools. I should print out those tools. It's really difficult to move these because remember when I showed you that PETG kind of sticking together? That's what's kind of happening. So if I have this here and there's weight on it, it barely, barely moves. So what I'm going to try to do, I'm gonna, I have a little bit of this uh, lubrication here. And I'm going to put some in the threads and then spin it around and we'll see if that keeps it from sticking. Oh, look at that. Oh, so much better. Okay, this is fantastic. What I'm gonna do is get lubrication on the rest of these. I'm really glad we're doing this. A few moments later. Oh, that's so much better. Wow, wow, okay. Now let's get these on the Noir. Okay. Now the other side. Everything is in. Let me back this up and we'll try leveling it. Here we go. Way off, way, way off. That. Okay, so here we go, right up front. That is level. Let's take it over to this side. <laughs> there we go. That is level as well. Yes! This is awesome. So not only were we able to use 3D printing to print new adjustment knobs, we added a little bit of grease to make it easier to move because I didn't print that tool. Sorry about that, Nick. But also, now we have a, a Phenom Noir that is going to be level, and it's going to be level. So the two types of leveling. Leveling your bed to the bottom, and leveling the machine to Mother Earth, I guess. Uh, this is cool, and I really wanted to do this because I have some incredible prints that I, I want to ensure they have the best possibility of succeeding, and having a level resin machine is probably one of the easiest things you can do to increase the success rate. This was fun. A big thanks to Nick Daimlo for designing these. I found them on PrusiaPrinters.org. I'll put a link in the description. They're built for the Phenom. You could use them on whatever you want. Honestly, uh, I'd love to see you print these out and level some things in your house. I want to see someone level their chairs and a table and a bed, level their car. I don't know. My mind goes crazy with ideas, and I'd love to see you do them. And if you do, tag me on the Twitters. I'm at Joel Telling. Uh, beyond all that, don't forget to hug each other more. If you believe in a cause, don't give up. And from a safe distance, high five. Woo!